Okay, so hello everyone. So I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step, uh, video uh, video tutorial kung paano gamitin ang Google Classroom. So unang muna, paano natin i-open ang ating Google Classroom. So uh, para mas madali, we have to make sure that our Gmail account is naka-sign in sa ating Google Chrome. So ito yung Google Chrome ko. So nag-open ako and then naka-sign in na ang aking Gmail account. So as you can see, Ito ang aking Gmail account. And beside it is yung Google Apps menu. So, pag click mo niyan, makikita mo yung mga iba't ibang Google Apps. And scroll down lang natin at makikita ang Google Classroom. So, i-check natin yan. Oh, sorry, i-click natin. So, since naka-sign in yung Gmail account natin, automatic yan. Mas madali na kayong makagawa ng sarili yung Google Classroom. So, click lang yung continue. So, yan. So, since meron akong mga Google uh, Classrooms or mga classes, so, wala nang problema. Anyway, madali lang yung, uh, yung pag-open. Basta naka-sign in yung Gmail account. So, so, okay. So, paano gagawa ng uh, Google Classroom? Or, I'm sorry, ng uh, yung Google Classroom or class? So, click natin yung plus sign dito. So, here, okay, pag click yan, so, tatanungin ka niya kung join a class or create class. So, as a teacher, gagawa ka ng class, okay, for a particular section. So, create class. So, click natin yan. So, i-check lang natin yung box dito and then click continue. Okay, so, papangalan na natin yung ating section. So, let's say, for example, um, Sampagita. That's the name of our section uh grade eight sorry let's say for example okay sampag kita and then grade eight one tapos subject science tapos anong ram number abr one and then click create so, pagka-click na click ng create, magpa-process and then magagawa yung ating classroom. So, wait lang natin. Okay. So, ayan. So, meron na tayong uh, Google Classroom for Sampagita Grade 8. So, dito sa header design, makikita natin yung section, name of our section, grade level. And then, dito din natin makikita yung class code. Okay? So, pag clinic ko dito sa displays, may enlarge yung class code. What's the importance of the class code? So, the class code will be used okay, by your students so that they can join this Google Classroom that you made. So, it is very important to inform the students na hindi dapat nila pinamimigay kung kani-kanino itong class code para alam mo na ang mag-join lang would be the but would be your students okay so how will you give this class code you can text the students you can send it uh, to their uh, gmail account or if meron kayong zoom meeting with your with the parents or with the uh, with your students pwede mo ding ibigay sa kanila or messenger pwede din so ito yung class code okay Yan. So, ito yung header uh, design natin sa taas. Pwede natin i-modify yan. So, pag clinic din natin tong arrow, makikita nyo din kung ano yung subject dyan, kung ano yung room. Okay? So, pag pinindot natin ulit to, matatago lang yung, ano, yung subject at saka yung room. So, pwede natin i-modify itong header design. So, select theme. So, dito sa select theme, bibigyan ka niya ng iba't ibang theme. So, since science tayo, mamimili tayo ng theme related sa science. So, itong pipiliin ko. Select. And then, eto. Yan. Click natin doon sa baba. So, automatic mapapalitan na, na ang ating header design. So, pwede ka ding mag-upload ng sarili mong uh, banner kung gusto mo. So, dito sa upload photo. So, yun yung uh, ganun ang pag create ng class. Let's continue for the next video tutorial.